Jamma, um, a free week for the lads on the training pitch this week. First of all, how's everyone found it? Um, it's been good. Um, we've been so back to back, haven't we, with Saturday, Tuesday games, which everyone loves to be honest because it's you kind of turn around. It's a new game. It's a new day. It's a new game. Um, and I think that's sometimes you get into your rhythm and you're just ready to go in game to game. But see, that's not sustainable all the time. So um, I think to have a free week is also is also good to kind of um, refresh. Um, it's a lot of hard work on the training ground, but just to get back into a routine of um, you know get some training into the legs and some strength into the legs and we go again. I picked up on something you mentioned in our match day program recently about how you enjoy the Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday games so congested and close together. So for yourself personally, do you change anything in terms of your preparation now? It, it's been a free week and there's there's a bit more gap between two matches. Um, in term, yeah, I do enjoy like I said the Saturday Tuesdays because I kind of think that's when I'm at my best. Um, be able to get a run of games and just challenge yourself physically as well. I think which I quite like. Um, but yeah, the, when you've got a free week, then it's kind of changes a little bit more to you know you've had those games and you might you might your body might kind of be looking forward to that Tuesday game. So. I think still try and get as much um, training load into your legs as possible um, to then, but then it's obviously a little bit more refreshed um, and just focus a little bit more around recovery um, to, to ready to go into another Saturday, Tuesday. Yeah, that's it. Um, the next game is Forest Green Rovers. First of all, um, let's touch on your time there as a former club of yours and really successful as well. How do you reflect on your time at Forest Green? Yeah, obviously a lot of fond memories from my time there, um, two and a half years there, which I really enjoyed, uh, probably the best period, sustained period of my career. So yeah, so the club I've got a lot of um, time for and a lot of fond memories. And um, yeah, it's um, it'll be strange going back, obviously for the first time, but going back as a Walsall player, looking to have no different and try and get the three points. What is the uh, new lawn like to play at? Obviously, I think, you know, on top of a hill, quite an open stadium. Are there a few factors that uh, perhaps you could pass on to the lads a bit of advice about playing there? Yeah, it can be unpredictable, I think, at times with the weather and stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, they normally have a normally try to have a decent pitch, um, and yeah, um, probably a bit tight, bit of a tighter pitch. But um, I enjoyed my time playing there; didn't really have any complaints with that. And I just think we we you can make excuses or you can look at factors, wherever it is. I think we've just got a goal there, um, ready to kind of do what we do um, and play how we can, how we know we can play. And if we do, then hopefully we can get a great result. Yeah, there's good momentum going into the game with the lads, the lads are in a really good moment, um, but is it all about that that focus, that sort of tunnel vision, right, the next game, next challenge? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's easy to get carried away, but the boys have, have been all been saying it and we've all been banging on about it. It's that same boring thing, one game at a time. I think that's what's got us to having those recent results and it's something that we want to carry on. Um, not Forest Greens are going to be a tough game on Saturday. They've the, the position in the league is um, is something obviously they won't be happy about, but still look at their team. They've got some good players and some dangerous players, um, and their recent results show that as well. I think um, they've had a little bit of upturn. So we've just got to still focus. Looking at them, we know what their strengths are. Take them, which we we know give them all the respect that they deserve. Um, but as usual, we obviously need to focus on ourselves um, and look at what our strengths are and try to impose them onto our opposition. One thing that the lads and the head coach have also mentioned has been a massive factor in, in this positive run is the supporters. You know, the atmosphere at the Pan and Biscuit Stadium has been superb in the last last couple of games in particular. There's going to be a lot of Warsaw fans travelling down to Gloucestershire on Saturday. Initial allocation was sold out, further allocation of tickets had to be required. Uh, just a word on the fans and, you know, how big will they be um, on Saturday and in the rest of the season? Yeah, they've been massive and in the past and they'll be massive again. They've been massive obviously in this run that we've we've been on. Um and to hear they've you know the allocation has been sold out and they've um, even getting more tickets is, is fantastic to hear. Because once you're when you're there as a as a player on the pitch and you hear the support it's it goes a long way. I think we look back and we had some um if you look back at the Harrogate game and things like last away game, you know, the the scenes that we had there and hopefully, you know, listen, if we can play, like I said, first and foremost to our, our best of our abilities, we can recreate some of those scenes. Thank <laughs> you.